Well, good morning. Hope everybody slept well last night. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. It makes your under your eyes feel so cool and like hydrated. Um, I got this at Ulta. You only need a tiny bit, but I'm always the kind of person to like use extra, <laughs> thinking it's gonna do something more, but um, it doesn't. I just, you know, I just convinced myself that it does. But it makes your face, it makes it feel so hydrated under here. I love it. Um, it's by Rihanna. Well, her name slapped on it, you know. Anyway, so I just wanted to come live for a few. I have a bunch of stuff to go do. And um, I came across Latiti's um, video from yesterday. I didn't play it on stream last night because... I mean, you guys probably would have got grossed out. Um, I, maybe I played part of it. I can't remember. Did I? Some of it I did, actually. But not the part from the beginning. And she's laying there naked, right? Naked. Full on naked. Um, and, like, all she's doing is covering her nipple. And I'm just wondering why this is okay with YouTube. Like... I don't think she has her channel set for, you know, not for kids. I'm not sure. I mean, if I'm wrong, then I apologize. But I don't think, just like somebody else we know, who never put their channel um, set not for kids. Which they absolutely need to. And another thing is, I just can't believe that YouTube allows that the language she uses, the threats she makes. But... Here's the thing. Everyone says, oh, you know, leave the girl alone. She's mental. N no. She threatens people, okay? She threatens people all the time. She threatens her baby. Again, she's talking about, you know, killing this baby in her and how it's selfish that anybody would want to take her baby from her. Um, excuse me? Who's the one being selfish? You can't provide for this baby. And you talk about how you don't want it anyways. Since the father's not going to be involved. And you know. But no one else is going to have the baby. Are you kidding? Do you know how selfish that is? That baby could go have a good life. With somebody who has the means to take care of it. Him. I guess it's a boy. Um, I think that's selfish. That's vile. That you're saying nobody else is going to take this baby. For one, you've threatened its life many times. Um, you've threatened to pretty much decapitate the baby. Um, as it's being born. You've threatened to leave it in the woods. Okay. You've said you don't want it. That it's Satan. Um, that it's not from God. That it's from Satan. Uh, what else? And, and you don't see why people would be worried about the baby and not you? Because she says, you know, why, why does everybody care so much about the baby and not me? Are you kidding? The baby can't take care of itself. The baby is powerless over you and your shenanigans and your threats, your vile, vile behavior um over this child you can't blame everybody for everything okay you took part in that leticia whatever your name tedia latiti whatever your name is um you cannot blame everybody else you went to that guy's house you laid in his bed you knew he was interested in you you were interested in him if you didn't want anything from him, you wouldn't have slept in his bed, okay? Um, you wouldn't have voluntarily had intercourse with him in the morning and then told everybody about it. You tell on yourself and then you, you wonder why everyone doesn't believe you about these claims that you make against these men all the time. You were not ard. You were not. You were butthurt because he didn't want to be a part... He doesn't know you. 
that's crazy. Why would he just say, okay, I've met you one, two times, whatever. Let's, let's raise a child together. We're in love. Life doesn't work that way. But she's a perpetual victim. Cops have molested her. Her, fa her family has. Every guy out there on the internet has. I mean, in the mental institution, they have. Everybody has. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. Um, and I just have to talk about this because she triggers the hell out of me. There are women who literally do have to deal with that stuff and are suffering from trauma from childhood or whatever. But they're getting through it. So every time she wants to do something vile, like go naked on her channel, where she's just covering up her boo, the, the nipple, or she says, I'm going through a lot right now. Going through a lot does not equal I'm excused for any vile behavior that I portray on the internet. That does not mean that. Everybody is going through a lot right now. Some people ha have it a lot worse than you ever did. So for you to sit there and excuse yourself every time you're terribly toxic and ugly and vile on the internet that's no excuse and you shouldn't get a pass you know and she talks about how why aren't people supporting me and then she compared herself to these little boys that were at the park and how they were white boys privileged white boys talking about a two-year-old and a couple of younger you know other boys and how they said a couple rude things, you know. Oh, they're privileged white boys. She says things for attention, for one. Um, she says things for shock value. And uh, she tries to act like uh, she knows everything about everything. She's right about everything. And um, that it's okay for her to speak about her unborn child like this. Um, so these boys at the park, she says, why do they get a pass? Why do they get a pass and they can speak the way they do, but everybody comes for me if I speak. Are you kidding? Like, how old are you? How old are you? <laughs> like, kids say things. Is it nice what they say? Sometimes no. They pick things up. And I think possibly maybe you heard them wrong. Like, I don't think they said whatever you said they said about well, I can't remember the exact word for word so I'm not going to say it but you could have heard them wrong you know your mind is so out there you hear what you want to hear and I really believe and I'm not for cancel culture whatsoever but this girl's dangerous to be on the internet she is not good for people to um, learn from or you know, maybe teenage girls come across her channel and then they want to excuse their behavior the way she is. No. Um, I understand why people are speaking out about her. She's vile. And anybody that supports her and defends her and says, it's a mental illness. No, because she picks and chooses when she wants to portray that mental illness or expose that mental illness. It's bull crap. Um, she's been caught in many lies, so I don't buy it. Um, and even if so, even if it is a mental illness for her, guess what? Get off the internet. So you want your daughter to hear you speaking this way? Really? Th these videos are for your daughter? Okay. That's sick in itself. Why would you want your daughter... To hear you talk about suicide and, you know, how you want to murder this baby and how you should have done that with her. Like, you want her to hear this stuff? Some things don't need to be said out loud, Letitia. Some things do not need to be said out loud to our children. Like, you want to say you're so honest and open. No. You just have no filter. And I wouldn't be proud of that either. I would not be proud 
You have hiccups? Um, you okay, baby? I would not be proud of having no filter. And no way should you get any more flipping animals. Are you kidding? You can't even take care of yourself, let alone a, an animal. I just wonder, you guys, the way she speaks, can you imagine the things she said to her daughter or the things she will say and do to this baby when she gets in one of her moods? I can see why she doesn't have custody of her daughter. Like, can you imagine what she probably said to her daughter? Same thing she claims her mom said to her. I should have never had you. I should have gotten rid of you. I should have, you know, the other word. No, I bet you anything. You're just a drain on my life. I can't have fun anymore. You know, your dad and I don't get... I, I can see it now. She probably said so much vile things. So many vile things to her daughter. And I'm sorry, her daughter is probably ecstatic that she's not with her anymore. She probably does, Hopefully she doesn't remember her. I don't know. Um, but I think I love this stuff. It's got vitamin E oil in it. And it, uh, it has a little tint on it, but it gives your, it gives moisture on your lips. So yeah, I don't know. She drives me nuts. And I know I've told you guys check her out because I want you to see who I'm talking about. She is I want, I want to know what you think, you know. Am I wrong about this? No. Anyways, uh. And why can't you, you know. It's not up to everybody else to fix your life for you. The only one that, that can fix your life for you is you. So stop talking about everybody else is responsible to take care of you. They're not. And... The only way you will grow and learn is to figure it out for yourself. I had to. Many other women and men have to. It's nobody's responsibility to buy you a flipping house. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, quit being so prideful. Go to a damn shelter. You say there's not this help out there? I call BS. I think you're too prideful to go to a shelter or anything else. Oh, yeah, everybody at the shelters, you know, anywhere she's been has just done her wrong. You know, everywhere she's been. Again, what's the common denominator? You. So, it's not everybody else. Um, I'm sure you've had some experiences, whatever. Not all of them, like you say. She makes it up as she goes, I'm telling you, this girl. She needs help, definitely. She has, she does have some mental stuff going on. But I think a lot of it, she exaggerates. Like when she said that lady moved her purse in the gym bathroom, right? I'm sure the lady did move her purse. That's all she said at the beginning. Then she added, she was rummaging through my things. Just to make it sound a little bit worse to complain, right? I don't think the lady rummaged through her purse. I think she moved it. But if she would have said, she moved my purse, she would have sounded ridiculous. Like, okay, so she moved it to get to the thing. But she had to add, she rummaged through it. Which I bet you anything she didn't. She just had to add that, like she does with all this other stuff. She adds it to make the story seem that much more worse, you know? Ugh. Oh. I don't want to go do my stuff today. I'm only going to work for a few hours today. My knees hurt from falling from the dog. Oh my goodness. Sosa drug me down to the ground yesterday. Ow. When I walk down my stairs, it's not funny. It hurts really bad. Just, just bending my knee. Oh, that one's not. And it's, my right one's worse um, looking. But my left one hurts worse, and it has a smaller scab. So, um, I did, I've gone through so many bandages on this one. I can show you how beautiful it looks. You want to see it? Yeah, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here, hold on. Ew, look at it. It's, it's, it took off the top layer of skin. Nice. That's what he does to me. Second time he's done this. 
an old lady like me, my knees aren't scabbed up too bad, but they hurt. Um, Cause you know, when your knees hit the concrete, that freaking hurts and you use your hands to catch yourself, that hurts. Um, so, so what are you doing, baby? What are you doing, baby? Come say hi. I have to go to the pet store, um, get him some more dog food. Um, I have to. No, he's been getting these shoes out of daddy's, out of his, out of my son's room. No, no, these are not playing. No, no, come here. You cannot play. This just started where he's getting shoes. Well, I taught him to get my shoes out of my closet to go on a WALK. But, you know, he knows how to do that. But now he's getting other shoes. No, no. No, this isn't to play with, honey. When I go to the store or whatever and I come back. I mean, he doesn't chew them either. Like, he doesn't destroy them. He just gets them. He gets them and has them laying with him, huh, baby? He yawned this morning. And he was right over my head. <laughs> I had a big view of his jowls and his ew no 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 ew 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 i'm clean no no you're so handsome so he has to go to the vet in a couple days ew you're sloppy i always call him sloppy you're sloppy anyways don't support that latitty look at you're hanging halfway off the bed you're so cute look at you you're my favorite ever well i love piper too don't get me wrong but my vape juice isn't here yet i'm so mad it's an addiction, you guys. It is, you know. Um, nicotine. Luckily, it doesn't have all the poisons in it like, you know, uh, tobacco does. And, you know, but it's still not good for you. None of it's good for you. But I have to have some vice right now. I need to make God my vice. Absolutely. So, my daughter's coming to stay the night tonight. And we're going to go to church tomorrow together. It was her idea. So... That should be fun. Um, I I like doing that kind of stuff with her. And the way times are coming, you guys, it's it, the way things are going, it's really scary. I have some articles I want to share with you guys um, that I got from a very reputable source. Um, but I'm nervous, too, because of YouTube and how they, you know, censor everybody. Maybe uh, I'll do it on the Court of Public Opinion. Um, maybe I'll do it on that channel instead. But it's not like I'm giving out false information. I'm sharing what the article states, okay? And my opinion. An opinion isn't false information. It's a freaking opinion. Deal with it. Not you. But, okay. Say bye. Say grandma's got to go. Say bye-bye. Look at him. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. I love you. I love you so much. All right. Are you, can't, are you so handsome? Are you so handsome, boy? Look at his eye. I think one of his eyes is getting weird. It's like, okay. Um, I'll see you guys later. Maybe we'll, maybe me, I don't know. I got to talk to Picker, but I was going to say, Oh, my daughter's going to be here tonight. Unless she cancels on me. If she cancels on me, maybe Picker will want to do a live stream over on the other channel. Sound good? All right. Have a great day. I will see you guys sometime soon. It's beautiful out so far, but it's supposed to rain. So we'll see. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.